what's up this is uh billy guyette with guyette roofing doing a diagnosis of an old flat commercial roof check this bad boy out look at this the building owner has decided that now is the time to get this thing done right so what i'm doing is a core test to figure out what the roof assembly is. And that's important on flat roofs because flat roofs, unlike residential uh, steep slope roofs, where all you've got is underlayment and some shingles, a flat roof usually has a um, several layers that attach to a deck. And there's several different types of, of deck substrates. There are metal decks and then there's different gauges of metal decks there's concrete decks there's wood decks and it's important to know how many layers of old roofing are underneath you and then also what the deck is um, because that determines the different options that we have we can for instance if a roof has if a flat commercial roof has just one layer you can do what's called a recover where you put a single ply membrane directly over that one layer, provided that it's it's a semi-smooth substrate. This roof I know has multiple layers, so the recover option is, is not an option on this roof. And what I'm trying to determine is how many layers we have so we can um, determine what the, the removal process would be like. So I'm just gonna do a core test here and invite Anybody who, anybody who wants to watch the procedure, uh, they can follow along, or you can fast forward to the end to see what the roof assembly is. Uh, warning, this will be a boring video. There's uh, nothing real entertaining about this, except my hat and glasses, that's it. So what I'm doing is I've got a uh, core tool, and this has, it's kind of an old school manual method They've got core tools now that can connect to a, a drill, a power drill or a battery drill, and it goes right in, zzz, takes it right out. Um, I like to stay fit, I like to work on my forearms. Uh, no, not really. I just, uh, this is the only one I had in my truck. So I'm gonna do it by hand. So I've already got a little piece of it out. And this is, this top layer of roofing right here is what's called modified bitumen and it comes out in three foot sections and big rolls and rolls are usually 60 feet long and this is a torch down modified bitumen so this is the top layer of roofing so we automatically know i can already see a layer of tar and gravel underneath so we we know that this has multiple layers on it so the recover option is not a viable one now comes the hard part. If you've got a manual core tool, you've got, uh, whenever you see tar and gravel, you know you have a burr system or a built up roof system. And that's what we have underneath this torch down modified bitumen. Or some of the old school guys will say modified bitumen. Um, that word's just too dangerous for me to use loosely. So I say bitumen. All right, Here we go, we're gonna, Dig into this bad boy. <sighs> so we've got something hard right now, and I, I'm not sure what it is. We've got a, it looks like we've got a concrete deck so we just have one layer of modified bitumen a layer of liquid flood asphalt and then gravel I think now every bit of material that I'm touching right now causes cancer in the state of California, um, which means that it probably causes cancer everywhere. I'm currently in 
Alabama, if you can't tell by my accent already. Um, so I thought we were gonna go down deeper than that, but we've got a layer of modified bitumen, tar and gravel, and then a concrete deck. I don't know if you can really see that there, but it's not that thick. That's it, that's, it was kind of an easy core test. I, I know that was probably hard to get through, um, but this is what we do before we give a roof estimate. This is Billy Guyette with Guyette Roofing.